What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction. Hold on, let me fix our wheel good and such. There we go. And today, we here with offending everybody again. And we got worst job in America. Now, even though you see us the thumbnail that's behind me saying jobs, but he's talking about his worst job, so who knows? But hey, all I can say is strap in for another <laughs> offending everybody video because I guarantee you it's gonna be off the wall. So we better check this out and it's eight minutes, so strap on in. No diddy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get into this. You're probably wondering how I got here. Well, that's because I work the worst job in America called Mental Health Therapy Aid, or Mahatas for short. Mahatas work in psych wards and are basically babysitters for adults, feeding them, monitoring them, getting viciously attacked by them, off of a low pay of 35 grand a year. That's right, for an unlivable wage, you too can deal with the stress of, will I get assaulted today? When I started the job, I had no idea what I was getting into. All they asked in the interview process was, are you okay with mandated overtime? In which they might as well have asked, how poor are you? Because who is okay with being forced to work? Hey, did you think you are about to go home? Well, not anymore. We're going to need to watch Billy. Be careful. He's off his meds and loves to bite. My first day on the job taught me what anxiety really is. It started by being dumped on the sex offenders unit and told to take roll call. Imagine all of a sudden being surrounded by 30 psychotic predators and having to talk to every single one of them. Not only that, but as I'm asking for people's names, all, all I'm going to say is you have better not been a ch my I pray to God he wasn't a minor at that time because if he was... Ooh, boy. <laughs> They'd be like fresh meat and having to talk to every single one of them. Not only that, but as I'm asking for people's names, all I'm doing is making enemies. Because 90% of psych patients are lazy, drugged up idiots who spend most of the day sleeping. And my white ass is just tapping them on the shoulder like, hey, what's your name? Go f*** yourself. Okay, I don't see yourself here. Is it Jerry? Is that your name? Jerry? <laughs> but that fear eventually subsides, lulling you into a false sense of security. Now you're much easier to attack. You'll remember to be anxious next time a food trace thrown at your face. It's what you get for opening up their package of bread, sprinkling in rat poison, and putting the rat her back on thinking I wouldn't notice. So what's the training like to handle an aggressive patient? Oh, I'm glad he asked. You see, I'm not allowed to hit, tackle, or even bear hug him. No. Oh, no, that's too cruel. All I'm allowed to do is redirect. So if a patient is coming at me with a hammer, all I can do is redirect him away. Which sounds ridiculous and it is! You think pressing the juke You think this is freaking Madden and such? Like he's about to say the juke. You think we this is Madden where you could just press the juke button and it go, yeet? Yeah. Nigga, they still they may be crazy, but at least they still most of them still, you know, in some little way, got sense where if he gets juked, guess what? They can literally reverse back and say, mm, back to you. So, what would be the point of redirecting? Redirect what? With a hammer, all I can do is redirect them away. Which sounds ridiculous, and it is! You think pressing the juke button is gonna make a person forget what they were doing? Where did this hammer come from? And in what part of this do you get the weapon away from the patient? Is Billy now on construction duty? Oh, nails good! Is he what- <clears throat> That's crazy. Mm -hmm. First and plus, yeah, with a weapon. They got a weapon. You... All I'm gonna say is, what you gonna do? And you know how, look. This could be a totally messed up or whatever or whatnot but if i'm not mistaken don't special ed people and such get like some type of strength or whatnot like special ed strength that's what i'm for a hey, blame family guy because the many times they've done it and such most of them sped eds most of them special ed people they got strong for some reason some super strength and shit so so put that into per, per, I can't even talk. Put that into perspective. You got somebody who is mentally unstable and such charging at you with a weapon and you and they telling you, oh, don't attack them or anything, just redirect. Okay, and if I redirect, mind you, they still got a weapon in their hand. You don't think they're gonna turn around and all and plus you ex how am I supposed to get the weapon away from them? <laughs> like, what? Crazy if you think I'm gonna do that. 
It, it is! You think pressing the juke button is gonna make a person forget what they're doing? Where did this hammer come from? And in what part of this do you get the weapon away from the patient? Is Billy now on construction duty? Oh, nails good! You see, what happened was, a few years back, people used to beat the heck out of patients. So they changed the laws in order to protect them. Problem is, they overcorrected, and now patients have too many rights. For example, let's say a patient punches you in the face and breaks your jaw. You know what happens to them? Nothing! No jail, no prison, no hooking up the nips to car batteries, nothing. And you can go ahead and press charges, but like Drake being told no, it's not gonna change anything. Thing. Because in order to convict, you need evidence. God damn it. <laughs> you can go ahead and press charges, but like Drake being told no, it's not going to change anything. Because in order to convict, you need evidence. And psych wards refuse to provide any in fear of violating HIPAA. You think your pinata face would be enough proof, but sadly, it isn't. I learned this the hard way when a patient named Tommy chomped down on my arm. Oh, he might be thinking, oh, well, maybe he was psychotic at the time. No! He knew exactly what he was doing. You see, Tommy is basically an internet troll. All day, every day, he's spent trying to instigate people. Huh. He'll harass, stalk, and pet staff members, all with the biggest smile on his huh. face. Anyway, one day, Tommy starts bothering another patient named Rick, and Rick is not the person you want to f*** with. Rick has a long history of violence and has been arrested 37 times. 37?! Yeah, that's the type of person you don't want to antagonize. I don't care if you're mentally unstable or you're stable and such. If you in jail or whatever the case may be and you hear about a motherfucker who murdered somebody 37 times nigga one time enough is already bad and I'm not even trying to mess with them but if a motherfucker has a repeated cycle of violence and has murdered 37 times yeah at that point I just don't even basically I'm not even looking their direction I'm looking the other way. <laughs> Rick has a long history of violence and 30, been arrested, arrested 37, 37 times. 37! I thought after 20, they just say, look, you had your chance. Not only that, but Rick's fists don't discriminate. He's assaulted police, COs, nurses, so I don't think my pacey ass <laughs> off limits. Anyway, I keep separating Tommy and Rick, but Tommy just keeps coming back. Eventually, I get fed up and I was like, look, Tommy, I'm not gonna tell you again. Either go to your room or I'm gonna call the doctor to give you an injection. Tommy responds appropriately by spitting in my face. Oh, nah. That right there, I don't care what you is. I'm sorry. I wouldn't care what you is and such. The minute you spit in my face. I'm sorry. And the fact is, and the thing is, even if you wasn't even... I, the only time I like, the only time I give it an exception, I give it a pass, is when it's accidental. But when you're doing it on purpose like you did, when you, when you purposely did it, oh no, nah. I'm sorry, but you getting all right. I don't care. Motherfucker, make a motherfucker, you see that spit I just did out? That was accidental. But make a motherfucker actually, make a motherfucker spit at you actually, like on purpose. Boy, I, like he said, like what, what he said about who was his name again, Rick or whatever. Point is, my hands will be rated E for anybody. You gonna spit at me? Nah, that's, that's like the ultimate form of disrespect right there. And everybody knows that. Call the doctor to give you an injection. Tommy responds appropriately by spitting in my face. And this is where I effed up. You see, instead of manhandling Tommy like I wanted to, I decided to play by the rules and redirect him to the medication room. Problem was, once we got there, Tommy was free to drag me to the ground. And now it's a UFC match. Instinctively, I go for an arm bar, but Tommy counters with a chomp to the forearm. Immediately, I hit him in the throat. He lets go, but not before taking a nice little chunk out of me. I eventually go to the hospital, where a thick nurse asks, what happened? <laughs> well, the hungry patient crazy. decided to have a little nibble. Maybe you should have fed him more. Or maybe I'm just a tasty treat. That's when I get a call from my supervisor telling me Tommy is HIV positive. Positive. Positive! Yeah, not only do I get stitches, but I- Oh, hell no. So not only this nigga took a bite out of him, but he H- But if I'm not mistaken- Hold up. You know what? I- I wanna search- Hold on, let me search it up. Cause I'm trying to see how. Hold on. 
how to trade. Hold on, y'all. I, I gotta do. Because if. So it's to block. So to contract. So HIV is, is passed on through blood, semen, vaginal fluids, anal mucus, and breast milk. If the person with HIV has a detectable viral load, it's not passed by on. Uh, it's not passed on by spitting, sneezing, or coughing. But I, but I mean, he did say he bite him and such. So unless it's con so unless it's like really viral. Look, the point is. You bite me, bite me already, you getting punched. But hearing that you have H. Yeah, nah, you getting. I'm sorry. Me whether you're men mentally unstable or not, you getting put. You, um, you, you already crazy already. So why not beat on you? And y'all may look at me weird and whatnot. Look here. I'm surrounded by crazy if I'm if my job is to be surrounded by weirdos creeps sexual abusers and all sorts of shit if my job was to be around them every single time and a mother effer bites me not only bites me and make me have to get stitches but I realize he has HIV man even if it's that pat but saying if it don't pass through it Hold on, let me see if he does pass through him or not. Hold on. He is HIV positive. Positive. Positive! Yeah, not only do I get stitches, but I also get that fear rattling around in my brain noodle. Oh, but at least I get a few days off from work. Sure, but it's my own time. That's right, when you get injured, the hospital doesn't give you days off. So I had to use my own vacation time. Some people vacay in Hawaii while I sit home worrying about time! So I returned to work a week later and talked to Tommy's parole officer, who piled on more bad news, saying that even with an injury requiring stitches, there was nothing he could do. So what do you think Tommy did once he found out there were no consequences? Did he guess to level up his troll game? Yep, turns out giving an a-hole a get out of jail free card is like giving Drake a preteen, saying, I hope you don't abuse this. And this is just one of many times I was injured at the psych center. Not including all the psychological trauma, there was a stretch between February and November where I was legitimately worried about my life, mostly due to a patient named Tyrone. Tyrone has the three most dangerous qualities of any human. He's dumb as rocks, paranoid, and freakishly strong. See? I was right. <laughs> I'm, look, you could tell me if I'm wrong or not. Tell me if I'm wrong or not. But some, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But if, a, but all I'm saying is, if if he has those type of three qualities right there, well, then again, some could not even be dumb as rocks. They could still be smart, but still be freakishly strong and shit. So, it is what it is. Tyrone has the three most dangerous qualities of any human. He's dumb as rocks, paranoid, and freakishly strong. He barely even worked out either. He was just built like a gorilla. And that's not even a race thing. If anything, I was the slave in our Damn. relationship. Fetch me some water, boy. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. But even with walking on eggshells, Tyrone would still get furious with me. Mostly because, like I mentioned earlier, he's paranoid! If you just glanced at this dude wrong, he'd think you're plotting against him. But luckily, most of the staff knew how to handle Tyrone, which was just to ignore him. I Engaging with someone paranoid only fuels their delusion. So the simplest strat is to just ignore him. However, one staff member named Jamal apparently didn't get the memo and starts arguing with Tyrone. I'm trying to separate him when Jamal says, Stop talking about something and do it. Now my anxiety is skyrocketing. Because if Tyrone starts swinging at Jamal, I'm the best option to get him off. Off, and I'm not a good option. Be like a. Oh my god, nigga, stop it with the Dre! And yes, I'm comfortable putting my leg up. That's how I like to react and such. Sometimes I like to get comfy while I react. React and such, so don't judge me. But also, nigga, stop it with the Drake shit already. God damn it. <laughs> I'm telling you, these Drake allegations will not go away. <laughs> god damn it, Kendrick. Why you made the most fire song ever? In such the most fire diss track slash car banger song ever, and now you got people freaking like offending everybody here, making these damn jokes.
out hey as much as fire music he may drop at the end of the day he ain't gonna escape it handle tyrone which was just to ignore engaging with someone paranoid only fuels their delusion so the simplest strat is to just ignore him however one staff member named jamal apparently didn't get the memo and starts arguing with tyrone i'm trying to separate him when jamal says stop talking about something and do it now my anxiety is skyrocketing because if tyrone starts swinging at jamal i'm the best option to get him off and i'm not a good option be like a preteen trying to wrestle drake you're so cute and you struggle so i'm begging jamal come on man it's not worth it but he just has to run his mouth again and say i knew you were soft 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 and just like that it's boss i know time. you're Tyrone not gonna grabs jamal by the neck you're not gonna call somebody whose name is tyro sorry i had to kill my ears out and such but i know you're not gonna call somebody who one is black mind you even though he's not let's be honest black mind you two he's paranoid and three freakishly strong I don't care about the dumb as rock because to me that don't matter but if you're trying to mess with somebody who is paranoid and freakishly strong <laughs> let alone black too you gone slumber that boy gone Come on, man. It's not worth it. But he just has to run his mouth again and say, I knew you were soft, soft, <laughs> soft. And just like that, it's boss battle time. <clears throat> Tyrone grabs Jamal by the neck Ooh, and just slaps him across the room. Like he was playing frisbee with an infant, causing him to fly through the air before landing hard on the concrete. Damn. Then Tyrone starts charging towards Jamal when out of pure desperation, I yell, Chipotle! Tyrone hesitates. Chipotle, Tyrone, I'll go out right now and get you Chipotle if you leave Jamal alone. Panting, Tyrone goes, <sighs> Burrito. I'm like, yep, I'll get your burrito right now, but you gotta chill, okay? Go, go to your room and I'll bring it to you. At this point, I can see the gears turning in his head. So with my heart pounding, I looked right at Tyrone and said, Chicken burrito. Tyrone looks at me, nods, then heads back to his room. Huh. Staff quickly rush over to help out Jamal, who is clearly f***ed up. There's no blood, but he's making this wheezing sound of... <laughs> Turns out... I mean, the nigga, the nigga literally freaking got frisbee across the room. Can you imagine how strong a motherfucker has to be to freaking frisbee you across the room, the next room, or just onto the floor and shit, and you have to go <gasps> and such? Clearly fucked up. There's no blood, but he's making this wheezing sound of. <gasps> Turns out he suffered a sprained forearm, dislocated wrist, and fractured Damn. hip. Yeah, all from one frisbee toss. He used to say he never came back to work, which was probably for the best, considering he had a habit of instigating the zoo animals. So whatever happened to Tyrone, well, I got good news. He was arrested, charged, and later sentenced to five years in prison. <laughs> I'm kidding. There of were no consequences. If anything, Tyrone's bad behavior was rewarded with Chipotle. That's because psych wards aren't fair. There's nothing fair about getting anxiety, being nibbled on, or thrown across the room when you're just trying to pick up a paycheck. So anybody out there thinking about working in a psych center, don't. But if you're poor and have no other option, then just remember, if you can't appeal to someone's mind, then try appealing to their stomach. How did you get HIV? The same way as everybody else. A hungry man. Think of psych wards like the Middle East, where the patients are the man and you're the woman. What's the worst job in America? He's a coal miner, Uber driver, and... I worked as a Mahada for three years, and I don't want to say it was hell, because there's a lot of cool people in job. <laughs> oh, but hey, hey, I ain't go... Hold on, we... person. Where the patients are the man That's and you're crazy. the woman. What's the worst job in America? He's a coal miner, Uber coal driver... Coal miner, Uber driver... I ain't gonna lie, the Uber... I wouldn't say the Uber driver is the worst. And I worked as a Mahat of three years, and I don't want to say it was hell, because a lot of cool people in hell. Prince, DMX, Kobe, there's no one cool. Oh, hell no. Hold up a second. What you said, nigga? Years, and I don't want to say it was hell, because a lot of cool people in hell. Prince, DMX, Kobe. You better take them to. I don't know about Prince. Respectfully, I don't know. But you're not finna talk on DMX and Kobe. Hell no. Nah. You ain't shit for that one. <laughs> I told you he, it's not, you not finna talk shit on DMX and Kobe, nah, you can probably keep Prince, I don't, like I said, I don't know if he's good or bad, I know his, a lot of people like this music, so it is what it is, but for DMX and for Kobe, you not finna talk bad upon them, you not finna put them in no negativity whatsoever, you son of a bitch. <laughs>
will be. There's no one cool in the psych ward. Interesting, sure, but no one I take a helicopter ride with. Positive. Positive. POSITIVE! Society looks at a drooling person and sees a problem. Well, I see a solution. We're all thinking the same question. How dumb can a person be before tapping is illegal? We gotta draw a line somewhere. Can't just be giving out low fives to every grunting girl. So how dumb is too dumb? What if she thinks the earth is flat, or crystals have healing powers, or condoms feel just as good as raw dog? At what point does her ignorance become a red flag instead of a green light? I asked this because there was a patient at the psych center named Stacy who was aesthetically banging, but mentally a Pop-Tart. Now, I didn't have the desire to pet her untrimmed kitty, but other patients did. Staff would repeatedly catch her playing the who's in my mouth game, which was such a nightmare. Because patients porking will get you in trouble, but patients assaulting will get you fired. And whatever the IQ threshold for consent is, Stacy was right on the border. Sure, she could answer basic questions, but her brain came with a built-in buffer, like trying to play Elden Ring on a Chromebook. Anyway, the good news is Stacy was eventually transferred to an all-female unit, where it was clear no one wanted to taste her seafood. I didn't hear no. Positive? Mm, you know what you wanted to that's crazy, that's... <laughs> and I gotta say, this outro right here... Oh, you wanna push that subscribe button? Yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to stop it. <laughs> but nah, nigga, that's crazy. Hey, all I'm saying is... That had to be hell. Yeah. Just imagine, you're working there... And you, you're working with a whole bunch of un mentally unstable people, sexual abusers, criminals, psychos, PDF-files, all sorts of type of craziness in there for X amount of money, an hour probably, or per year or whatever. And you think, I nah, I'm sorry. So, look, I don't care what you say. For my real job at Chick-fil-A, for my RRL job in Chick-fil-A, I don't care if I get paid bi-weekly. I don't care. I'd rather go through that than deal with that. And crazy thing is, at one point in my life, not to say it was like this, but I was working with some old elderly people and such, right? And I ain't gonna cap. At one point, I was picking up somebody's own shit and such. I live, yes, you heard me right. I picked up somebody's shit and throw it in the garbage bin and such. As it was, I rather that than dealing with crazies in one setting. I'm sorry. But hey, shout out to offending everybody for another crazy take and such. But hey, if you made it to the end, not only leave a like on this video and subscribe because we're on the road to 3K and such, but it's like this. Let me know your worst job that you've had in your lifetime. What do you think is the worst job in America? Whether it's your job that you're working at now or other ones you can just name, you tell me down in the comments below. What is the worst job that either you think is that nobody should ever want to work or in your opinion is the one that you work at what is the worst job that basically let me say it like this what is the worst job that you have ever worked in put put, put it like that but hey it's been your boy humble ziggy signing out stay positive keep the vibes up i'm out